What's up guys, it's Flo and Finds episode 76. Now, I'm just gonna say it right off the bat, I'm only gonna be selling dumb phones today because that's all I have. Wait, stop, no, don't, no, don't, don't click off the video just yet. No, I swear they're cool phones. They're not just dumb Verizon ones, I swear. Don't, just, just stay for now. Okay, good. As I was saying, yes, I only have dumb phones to show and none of these besides the last one, which is an update, came from my local Target. I, these all came from a Target I had not been to in probably a decade, to be honest. Sorry about that. Slide interruption, as usual. Now, where was I? I think I was mentioning something about, like, I hadn't been to this Target in over a decade. Well, I mean, yeah, last I was there, they didn't have bins. They still got the classic look going on in there, because I still saw, like, the neon lights and the popcorn stuff. That was pretty sick. Anyway, on to what I have to show. This is what I consider to be the worst behind. This is, like, an alc- It's just one of those grandpa phones, you know, the great bug- The great call jitter bug Alcatel one touch thing. It seems to work, like this thing like charges and turns on, but like any time I turn it on and close it and open it, it'll start trying to call someone, which I feel like it's trying to call this, which I'm almost certain this is basically just 911, and I do not want that at all. But if the, and it seems like the battery charge is like, it, does, it barely holds a charge, which sucks, because I thought it'd be like, oh, maybe this one has a good battery, because I have one of these that has a bad battery, but nope, they, this one, the battery works, but barely. What to show next? Um, okay. Next find is this Sanyo. I think this is the original Sanyo Katana or the Katana One. When I got this out of the bin, I was remember I was just like, this looks suspiciously like a razor, like in, in those clothes that we use. That was probably intentional. I can't show this working on camera because I don't have a charger for it, so I just can't test it. I'm sure it works though because it's in pretty nice condition actually. It's just another boring Qualcomm phone, but I'm sure it's in. I'm, Sure, it's interesting since it's the only ones usually are, and I like the design of it, but yeah. At least I have it. I think I have almost every I think I have every phone in this Katana series, so more reason to buy a charger, even though they are hard to come by. Next up we got this um ZTE F160. Now you might not even think it's a ZTE phone because it does not say ZTE anywhere in the phone. Matter of fact, this sticker almost looks like it says Alcatel on it, but no, I promise you this is a ZTE, because if you look up the model number, you'll get this very phone. Now yeah, unlocking this is weird. All right, this, as you can see, because it says T-Mobile, this phone was able to be unlocked. I have not messed with this phone much, so it still has the original owner's data on it. So I don't want to show anything of that. Matter of fact, this is a picture they took, which for a dumb phone, that is really nice looking. So props to them. But yeah, it's unlocked now. And oops, that time is right. That is when I'm recording this, and that is the day I'm recording this. And yeah, not much for us me to say about it. It's a neat little candy bar phone. It seems like a probably would have been decent for the time. I don't know how long it was used, I don't know when it was last used, I don't know any of that. Which, speaking of, I actually know that phone was last used in 2017. Now for the interesting stuff, and what the, you know, the most important part of the video. Now you may be thinking, oh my god, is that THE Nokia? THE 3310, the most indestructible phone on the planet? Well, yes, but actually no. This is the 3360, which is just the 3310 except the TDMA network. So as you can see, it's on AT&T like my other Nokia like this, the 3560, I believe it was. The, the color display one that was in really bad shape I got a long time ago. As you can tell, this one's in really nice shape. And yeah, it's just the TDMA version of the phone. Those, oops, sorry to those two people. At least it didn't show their numbers. It's just the same as the 3310 besides that network thing. Doesn't mean if you go on it, it's the exact same. The menus are, they check out. Like if you go to profiles, the, the sacred ringtone is on there as I will show it for you guys. Point proven. But yeah, this thing has snake, it has everything, the green front lit display. Very cool phone. It's in such nice shape too, as I already said. So I'm super happy to have this because I think this is a staple phone in any person. Any phone collection, collector's uh, collection, whether it be this or the actual 3310 or what, which 3310s are stupidly overpriced, and it's just the same phone. These can be found a lot cheaper, which is, just, you know, shows what the effect of a meme does, and not, I mean, if you don't know your stuff, it's not going to be anything, you know, worthwhile. This is a very similar phone. This is the 2260. Same deal. It's a TDMA phone on AT&T, which, by the way, TDMA is an old technology that stopped being supported in, like, 2007, so, just so you can tell these phones are really old. Oops. This phone also works. Blue front display. It's basically the same as this phone when it comes to, like, the menus and the 
features and stuff. It even has the same Nokia ringtone. It just has some other, like a, a couple new ones on there. It just has, I guess, a more modern look on it. I'm pretty sure this one was more low end. Personally, I think it looks cooler, but I digress. Okay, I get it. Yeah, it's basically the same. Let me go to our uh, games, actually. See? Yep. It has Snake 2 on it. I haven't checked what snake that has. I just know it has a snake on it. But yes, it works. A very slow game of snake. And you go through the thing, which I always forget. Yes, I got it. Yeah, I'm not going to do a snake gameplay on here. But, yep, these two work. Very happy about these. And for the last thing, which is not a find, actually. Yeah, those are the best finds, I'd say. This isn't a find. This is an update. I show this off. I think it couple videos back or not too long ago even this is a dumb phone or an lg dumb phone i got out of the uh, my local target a while ago that was believe it or not passcode locked and that but bypassed recently basically like went into a secret diagnostic menu found out the phone number and sure enough the pin was just the last four digits of the phone number so now i have access to the phone but i still haven't bothered to delete any of the data yet because i just haven't gone around to it or really gone around to using any of these phones actually these phones besides that one of course all these i got last week that's when i went to this target i went to my i think i mentioned already that i went to my local target and didn't find anything but if i didn't mention that yes that happens but yeah just your average lg qualcomm dumb phone this is a cdma one not nothing too special about it i'm pretty sure it said this thing has been slid up and down like at least a thousand times or ten thousand times one of the two a lot of times but yeah when it comes to finds uh let me just sort these real quick you actually gotta do it over here since that's where the worst find is. In my opinion, the worst find. Oops. Yeah, that's what I have to show. I mean, these five I am pretty happy with, especially these two. I'm gonna take very good care of these. I mean, I don't abuse my phones. I don't just throw them into a drawer like, you know, a, someone who just does not care about their phones. Like, I actually do try to sort them nicely, even though sometimes the boxes just kind of blow up like that. But. Yeah, I think that's all I have to show for this, so yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.